in the first century before Christ uh, in the ancient Rome Empire someone said uh, Cartago de Lenda Est Cartago must be destroyed this is because uh, Hannibal the legendary uh, commander of the Cartago army tried to invade the part of the Roman Empire with uh, his uh, elephants now after 20 centuries uh, apparently Cartago is still here well, it changed the name, now it's called uh, Tunisi, the capital of uh, Tunisia and it's where I just uh, landed uh, from London In this video guys I wanna share with you my first experience uh, of uh, Tunisi, the capital of uh, Tunisia Let's explore! We start our exploration from the Big Ben of uh, Tunisi, the Ben Ali Big Ben erected in uh, 2001 by the former dictator Ben Ali who then was forced to flee the country in 2011 uh, following the Tunisian uh, uprisings so it's a very controversial monument apparently a lot of people would like this to be knocked down and from this square starts uh, the, main, uh, the main avenue of uh, Tunisi which also leads uh, to the Medina the currency in Tunisia is the Tunisian dinar divided in uh, 1000 cents not 100, that's very strange the airport is located just uh, 8 kilometers away from the city center the journey to the city center takes about uh, 20 minutes and I paid uh, 20 dinars uh, even though the uh, taxi driver asked me for uh, 50 so always always uh, haggle uh, here in Tunisia but also what really surprised me as soon as I exited the airport is that I was not hassled by you know a huge crowd of uh, taxi drivers, scammers, toots trying to uh, scam me, to rip me off so that's very very different compared to other countries uh, uh, in this uh, region and at the end of this uh, big avenue so you can see the clock tower on the other side on this side there is this uh, beautiful uh, gate which uh, marks uh, uh, the entrance uh, of the Medina of uh, Tunisi look at this beautiful square here you know some of the buildings are quite uh, run down but you can see a very beautiful architecture here for example or here this uh, yeah it's a hotel and the city it's uh, it's bustling uh, it's full of traffic uh, but actually people are very friendly so I was approached at least uh, three or four times uh, in like 20 minutes people ask me for uh, yeah everything if I'm like a journalist <laughs> where am I from uh, uh, what time is it <laughs> everything but the good thing is that uh, uh, they're not trying to sell me anything they're just generally uh, interested in, uh, in a foreigner because I look like a foreigner look yeah with a small camera talking and walking so they're very very nice without uh, you know trying to uh, to scam me I don't want to enter the Medina just now I want to explore you know the other lesser known uh, uh, streets surrounding the Medina look at these buildings uh, quite run down but actually uh, very very beautiful I like this uh, uh, small balconies uh, and the blue uh, curtains you know, I skipped my breakfast, so I'm quite starving. Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera. Hello. 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 What can we have here? Uh, probably they have, yeah, mainly chicken and uh, vegetables. It's definitely a very local place. Hello. Can I have this? Uh, this? This one? One, one, chicken, chicken, yes. For dinner, it's only for this. So it's chicken, tomato, cucumber, then some uh, strange sauce. Wish me luck. Mm. Mm. Super spicy. I'm very very dry. I have something for you. It's all yours. Bye bye. How much one? One dinner. One dinner. Can I get one, please? I'm not sure what's the name of this uh, fruit. I never tried them before. Let's have a look. Thank you. Hmm. Very sweet. There are very very big seeds inside. It's not very easy to bite. Very refreshing. It's full of 
police. I'm not sure whether uh, I should be feeling uh, safer because of them or a bit more concerned because maybe yeah there is a terroristic threat. I have no idea. But actually, as you can see here, police one and two, and uh, it might be due to the uh, you know the Palestinian-Israeli uh, uh, conflict at the moment. Uh, there, there is a big protest uh, uh, going on uh, uh, tomorrow, but also it might be due to the you know the the attacks uh, which were held here uh, in 2015. Oh, sorry, I mean not here in Tunis but in uh, Sus where some uh, uh, terrorists uh, uh, killed uh, a lot of people uh, in, a, in a touristic uh, uh, resort. And uh, since then, uh, Tunisia suffered a lot uh, for, from the loss of, uh, of tourists, and then COVID hit in uh, 2020. So basically, Tunisia, since the attacks in 2015, did, didn't fully recover uh, from this loss. Look at this uh, bustling square. A Tunisian flag, a mosque, this one uh, is the Medina and then on the other side uh, what is called the new city but actually guys uh, it's uh, super hot maybe like 35 degrees now so now uh, I'm gonna have something to to drink I'm not sure it's a uh, pomegranate juice <laughs> It's apple, pears, and maybe pomegranate. But guys, for one dinner, I don't mind. Dates, cool, great. They look great. Pomegranate again, pomegranate, pears. Look at this market, and oh, this gentleman as well. Nice hat. Let's explore this market. Uh, this market is so fascinating. But uh, you know, the smells, guys, are almost unbearable. There are a lot of mosquitoes flying around. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. What I noticed here, guys, is that uh, people are not very familiar with this little camera. So I get a lot of uh, stairs. Some good, some bad. Most of people so far have been uh, have been very very friendly, but some of them, at least a couple of them, asked me to put the camera down, which I did, of course. I love getting lost uh, in these little uh, streets. Oh, look who is there? The two cats. Hello. <laughs> Don't be scared. Another cat there. Tunis uh, is the city of cats. But look at these uh, incredible little lanes and this building. Uh, just uh, in the middle look at the decorations at the flowers uh, the terrace uh, on top can you imagine living there wow having uh, an incredible view over the medina shall we go left or right let's go right actually the city uh, it's very dirty very dirty uh, pretty much uh, everywhere i i went i'm absolutely impressed by the architecture check this out absolutely stunning look at the arabic uh, uh, tiles and the shape of the windows but even uh, this one look now we are getting a bit closer so i'm gonna show you uh, better the other side look very interesting shape and also I like very much this uh, uh, combination of uh, blue and white so the blue windows and the white uh, uh, walls would you live there like here or maybe here or maybe on the top look at that uh, amazing uh, rooftop imagine walking in these uh, little streets uh, I can feel the smell of, uh, of sweets uh, of, uh, of fresh breads just, uh, just baked uh, the call to prayer and then uh, look okay stray dogs some uh, trash but look at this how beautiful when i said that this city has an amazing architecture but it's a bit run down i refer to this look how beautiful this uh, arabic architecture but it's completely completely 
Gion. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va, ça va bien. Yes. Ça va bien, yeah. Tu photographies ça? Yeah. First day in Tunisie. Tunisie. First day. Well, first day in Tunisie. First day in Tunisie. Very beautiful architecture. I love it. I love this, uh, these doors, these uh, blue doors and this narrow street. Blue, blue. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. Sidi Boussaï, Sidi Mansour. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. Do you live here? Blue, blue. You live here? Yes. Yeah, Tunisie? Uh, no, Francais. Francais. Ah, Francais, Francais. Yes, Francais, uh, Nasser. No, no, no. Toi, tu quoi? No, pa. Uh, Anglais? Ing, uh, Italian. 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 Oh, do, oh. do you speak an Italian? Uh, un petit peu, un petit peu. Poco, poco. Okay. Poco, poco, poco. <laughs> I should. My son, tu, my son. Uh, Francais. Uh, si. Ah, Francais. Francais. Okay, Francais. Ici, international. International. Okay. Yes, yeah. okay. Merci. 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 I want to try something uh, really uh, typical from uh, Tunisia. That's why. What do you think about this place? Mix of everything. I have no idea what is gonna put inside. But I'm gonna like it. Ah, okay. Chickpeas. What is this? Camu. Camu. Cumin. Cumin. Okay. Salt. Salt. Okay. Yes. It's a, it's a spicy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit. Yes. School. I have no idea what is it. Ah. Okay, yeah, yeah, pickles. Oh, yeah, pickles, okay. Only one, only one, yes. Okay, blue egg. Oil, yes, oil. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Ah, and then mix. Mix. Mix, okay, mix all together. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So this dish is called la blabi. I'm not sure I pronounce this correctly. So it's a it's a typical Tunisian uh, soup with chickpeas and bread and cumin and other stuff. Hello. Salam alaikum. <laughs> What's your name? Huh? Name. Name. Uh... Hi. Tunisia. <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> It's almost uh, sunset time. Look how beautiful is this place uh, with this light. Everybody uh, chilling out, sipping some coffee, waiting for the uh, the actual sunset. Assalamu alaikum. Marhaba. Marhaba bika. Okay, thank you. I don't speak Arabic, but yeah. Can I get a, a coffee, espresso? Ah, espresso, short. Short. Espresso, very, very short. Italian style, espresso. Yeah. Look at this place. Very typical Tunisian. Like I'm mixing with the locals. Let's see if I can see it outside. Oh, look. First day in Tunisia, yeah. First day in Tunisia. Here we go. Look. Ah, beautiful. Tunisian flag there. A lot of uh, friendly people passing by. The colorful uh, tourists uh, at sunset. Uh. Like at home, really. Club African since 1920. Apparently, Tunis has uh, two uh, big uh, football team. Hello. What is this? Club African? Yes, club. you know Club Africa? No. Yes. Is it the biggest, the, the most famous club in yes, Tunisia? Yes. In Tunisia? For, no, for uh, Club Africa. Only Club Africa. This uh, name is Baby Did. Ah, okay. You and know Baby Did? Yeah. For this name, Club and Africa. The Esperance is the no, other team? No, it's not here. Ah, okay. It's near, near yeah. the year. It's Beb Ah, but what, this. Who is this? champion of Who is the champion of Tunisia? Club African or, or Esperance? Ah, uh, champions uh, Esperance. Esperance. But but, <laughs> but but the Club African is very popular than uh, Esperance. Ah, okay. You know? Maybe next year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> champion d'Afrique, Esperance. Esperance. Okay. Champion okay. d'Afrique. <laughs> From what I was reading online before coming here, I was expecting uh, Tunis to be uh, just the Medina, and that's it. 
but actually today uh, exploring the area surrounding the Medina and uh, the less touristic uh, areas uh, I'm really really impressed I really love it it's really hello hello hi. Salam <laughs> You are very friendly, but uh, the architecture is stunning even outside of the Medina and uh, the vibes I get are really really good I really like it so far I'm starving once again I don't want to end this video without uh, having a proper barbecue Tunisian barbecue Hello mate <laughs> Can I have one? Hello Can I have one? One uh... Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just one, yeah. Without anything else, just yeah. Let's not forget that uh, Tunisia got uh, the independence from France in 1961. So of course the French culture is still, uh, is still embedded in the uh, Tunisian culture. That's why, guys, a huge baguette for my uh, salad. So we have potato, uh, cucumbers, tomato, of course, uh, yeah, uh, this is a uh, onion actually. I guess this is uh, a very spicy sauce. Olives uh, and uh, I guess mayo. On the downside, uh, hygiene is not uh, uh, the best in the world. So they serve my baguette directly uh, on the table without any uh, blanket or any uh, napkins uh, served. They are like cats and everywhere. Some of them even uh, jump on the table a few seconds ago. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you need to be a bit flexible in terms of hygiene here. And we are back at uh, square one, the clock tower behind me, even better at night. What do you think? Anyway, guys, uh, I really hope that you like this uh, this tour of Tunis, uh, the first impressions. Uh, to be honest with you, I did not expect uh, such a vibrant, colorful, uh, and smelly city. And also the food was incredibly uh, tasty. By the way, if you're wondering uh, uh, where is the Medina, well, I'm gonna uh, head there uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna explore the vibrant heart uh, of Tunis, uh, the Medina. But this is gonna be a complete different video. For now, uh, shukran uh, for watching. Uh, thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video. Inshallah. Bye.